Hello and welcome to a new episode of Game Creator Tips and Tricks. Today we'll go back to the basics of Game Creator and learn how to toggle between different camera perspectives. For example, we'll build a third person playable character that switches to first person perspective. Let's first create a player. To do so, we'll click on the green diamond on the Game Creator toolbar. If you don't see this toolbar, it might be because it's, it's been deactivated. Turn it on by going to your top menu and select Game Creator, Tool, Show Toolbar. We'll also drag and drop this model we've downloaded from Mixamo onto the Change 3D Model slot. This will change the default character for a more interesting one. Now that we have the player, we can hit play and we'll be able to move around with the default character. We'll now create a third person camera. To create a camera motor, click on the camera symbol on the Game Creator toolbar. It will automatically create an adventure camera motor for you as well as set the default motor in your main camera. If we click play again, we'll see that we can still move the player around but the camera is also controlled by the mouse. This camera also avoids clipping through walls. The Adventure Camera Motor comes with a bunch of different properties that allow you to tweak how it behaves. But for now, we'll leave it with the default values. We will now create another camera motor. This time, we'll change its type from Adventure Camera to First Person. This camera, as its name implies, changes the perspective so it becomes the eyes of the player. We can test this by changing the currently active motor from the main camera to the FPS camera motor. And now we can click play. As we can see, the camera now is placed on top of the head of the player. Now comes the fun part. We want to toggle between these two camera motors when the user clicks the C keyboard button. To do so, we'll create a trigger object, set its type as on key up, as well as select this the key C from the drop down list. A on key up trigger basically listens for keyboard inputs and executes its associated actions and conditions when the specified key is pressed. We'll create a conditions object that will switch between these two camera motors. In our case, we want to use the pattern condition. The pattern condition returns true or false depending on the specified pattern. For example, the default pattern will return true, false, true, false, and so on. When the pattern condition is true, we want to execute the change camera action and assign the first person camera motor. The transition time property allows to choose the duration the main camera will take to switch between the previous camera motor and the new one. We'll create another action at the bottom of the conditions that will be executed when the pattern condition returns to false. We want to add a new change camera action. Instead of clicking on add action, we can simply copy the previous action and click on the paste icon. We'll drag and drop the Adventure Camera Motor onto this field. To spice things up, we'll change the transition time to zero and compare how it differs from the other action. That's it! Let's click play and see the results. As we can see, we can move around in third person, but when we click the C keyboard button, the camera changes to first person. When we click the C key button again, the camera changes back to third person. This works with any camera motor type, so making cinematic sequences becomes really easy and a fun exercise. Hold up! We'd like to announce a new service for Game Creator. Discord has been very useful for the past two years, but Game Creator community is starting to become very large and we can keep track of all the questions posted there. So, we've decided to build a support forum where questions, ideas and bug reports can be better organized and discussed. You can access this forum at support.gamecreator.io. See you soon and happy game making!